All right, so let me tell you. The bro Roger came through. The bro came through from Florida. I'm like, I was so excited that he came through because I haven't seen bro in like four years. Like, insane. Like, I grew up with the dude and like we talk all the time. So I'm very happy. Like, and you know, just a funny story with the bro. Like, um, I met him at school in the funniest way because a teacher, <laughs> I'm at the lockers, right? So I'm at the lockers, I'm doing whatever. And bro just came up from the islands, bro. He came up from the islands. And um, a teacher was walking with him. I saw him. I ain't paying no mind. You know, I was just at the locker trying to get my stuff. So the teacher saw me and was like, yo, this is like God sent perfect, like perfect. I, I'm matching these dudes up. I think that was her mental at that time, bro. So, um, so I'm chilling at the locker, getting whatever I had to get. Teacher come up. I'm like, yeah, what's up? What's good? Whatever. You know, just a little 10 year old, like, yo, what's good? You know? <laughs> um, she was like, yeah, this is uh, Roje. He came up, blah, blah, blah. I think y'all would be perfect. I wonder why. <laughs> you know, is it because I have Korean in the background too? But it's all good because, bro, bro, bro has been awesome ever since. Like, that's, that's like, at this point, bro's like blood right now. So I'm um, very happy to see him. Him and his lady came up, which was mad dope. Was happy to like meet her for the first time. So everything was good. So we made it like a little video or whatever. So um, he came up. He hasn't driven a manual in a long time. So I was like, bro, I was like, here's the keys. I threw him the keys. I was like, get in the car, drive around the block, bro. Just feel for it, bro. So so that's what that's what he did. And then um, we had a discussion about like straight line speed and like cornering. And I was like, you know, a lot of people just like, like we we're talking about like, you know, they rather just go like fast in a straight line and stuff like that. And a lot of people like to just um, like do highway, highway racing and stuff like that. I don't really care for that. Like the bombing and weaving, in my opinion, and this is just me. I feel like it doesn't really take that much skill. And at the same time, you're risking other people's lives. And I'm like, bro, I don't have time for that. You know, like. What if in a like and a lot of these people they don't maintain their cars so like their on ball tires and all this extra stuff and it's like one slip one bad slip bro you know what I mean so I just don't risk it you know that's just not me I prefer going into like the mountains where there's like a really deep corner hit hit the brake hit the turn and be it like learning how to like actually control my car I'm no way informed like a pro racer. I haven't, I've never been on the track. I want to go on the track with this car. That's the, that's the primary goal of this car and stuff. It's not a show car. And that's what I was like telling them like, bro, it's not stand style. Like the fitment isn't like, you know, really like tucked and whatnot. But the primary prime, my prime reason is for just being able to go on the track. And if there's like levelation, um, or wow wow levelation what am i talking if there's any elevation or changes in like the the um the ground and stuff the track and course and stuff or the environment i want to be able to uh, like i want the suspension to be able to absorb that without rubbing so that's that's my primary and i want beefy tires so if you guys don't know um i was running 255 square all the way around the car but there's some rare fender issues where like the inner lip and i talked about this before the inner lip is like flared out and it's actually rubbing onto the wheel and when i had the 255s in the rear um they're actually cutting through the tire to a point where it's like bro this is gonna blow up on you at some point so i was like yeah nah bro this gotta this gotta go this gotta go so i said all right cool i put 245s in the back it's helping a lot which is nice um, they're still a little bit beefy, but the fronts look a lot more beefy. So they're like, bro, why is there two, why do you have a beefy setup in the front than you do on the rear? So that's why I was explaining. And, um, so yeah, hopefully at some point I can put the Michelin's 255s back on the rear and then like next year I'll be on the track, but I got to fix that. And like, I know like you guys see the car and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, he wants to do like a 1M and it's like, bro, I really don't want to, but like let's face it like this is like the best look that you can get for the like the e82 um you can change it up all you want i know they have like the 128s had like a uh, aero package i uh, really like it it looks cool the only thing that was like really dope about that package was like the side skirts and that's what i got on this which is which is nice um but anyways 
I let him drive the car. And what's crazy was like we're we're driving. I'm in the passenger seat. He's driving around, and I'm like, bro, I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. I looked. I looked over to like you know put press stop, and all I see was a circle with the with the red with the red light in the middle. I said, bro, you're not gonna believe what I just did, bro. I did not film. He was like, bro, I had the cleanest downshift I ever had in years. You are the cameraman. You gotta fix it. I'm like, dang. All right, run it back again. Go drive again. Um, I don't think I caught another. Um, I don't think I caught another downshift that he did. But he was like, bro, you gotta, you gotta take over. Let me see what you're doing. You're doing all this like corner driving. I don't want to see what you're doing. So I was like, all right, cool. I'll show you what I did. Disclaimer though, before you, before I play this video, this disclaimer though, certain things that's happening with this shifter, right? That I don't, or the transmission was like, for some reason, when you go in like first. And then into second when you're like pushing it for some reason like i'll put the up like all right hold. i'm in first it like doesn't want to go in and then it goes in so sometimes like when you put it in you got the you have the foot in the clutch and you put it in it grinds and i'm like bro why why does that have to happen so it grinded yeah it grinded right i was embarrassed i was like bro you haven't seen me in years and here i am grinding at no other point in time do I be grinding, but it grinds. When I'm like, bro, come on. So we had to move from like second to third. Um, if you know what's going on there, you let me know. Because I'm pretty sure it's something to do with, um, it's either like the internal gearing or something else. But I don't, I don't know. We're going to have to get it fixed. I don't feel like buying a new transmission. Because I feel like these transmissions are pretty solid, but... It could just be a clutch, and I'm hoping it's just a clutch. I really do hope it's just a clutch. You know, I really, I really do. I need it just to be a clutch, because I can just do a clutch. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to buy a new transmission. Unless y'all want to help me buy a new trans transmission. But I really don't want to buy a new transmission. You know what I mean? Yeah. So anyways, and then like, I so another thing. Oh, <laughs> I thought I went again. I didn't go again. So I'm like, all right, cool. I, it was like a quick, oh, shoot. I missed the gear. It didn't go in. Let me just like put it back. So it may look like like I like it looks like I didn't miss a gear, but in my head I'm like, oh shoot, I missed a gear. So like I I fixed it like really quick. But it was like a quick like one two like a like a three like a two corner thing. It wasn't anything crazy, but like yeah. But I'm about to close the video off on that and um. Bro, no, no. Or you're driving the E82, huh? <laughs> you know, it does kind of sound nice. Yeah, that sounds very good, and it has an exhaust leak, right? Alright, so what's wild is that I was not even recording, which is crazy. So I got Roj driving the car. Came up from Florida, which is dope. So we'll see what we'll see how this uh, goes. It's been a wait. The B58 is uh, it's automatic, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's been a while since he drove stick. So give him give him some. Uh, he be alright. <laughs> yeah, we, we gotta go back on the road, bro. Wait, wait. Pull off in a second. I ain't pull off. I just caught it. Oh. So you, so you're gonna hear some rubbing. Don't no, don't worry about it. Like. Again, I can go out the back right here, right? Yeah, you go back. Um, it says do not enter. Right here. Yeah, just turn around right here. Well, they ain't got to know exactly what it is, but it's easy right. to go. <laughs> if you know, you know. That's all it is. I got to replace this. That turbo sound nice. Sound real good. And you know what's funny? There's no burble too. Yeah, I noticed that. So that's all like that's natural. Yeah. But at the same time, like the the exhaust valves are burp. So that's why I have a whole new engine. And the engine's about to get something completely different. Yo, yo, I'm gonna need a manual, bro. <laughs> yo, this is good, bro. I'm gonna lie, bro. I'm gonna lie, bro. I didn't miss the manual, man. Yeah. We're going back to the crib? 
Um, actually, just. I want to see Troy drive. Oh yeah, just go, just go back around the, the back, uh, the back way. Yeah, that's you. Okay. <laughs> I feel like the right here, right here, right here, right here. About to have no gas. <laughs> okay, right here is good, bro. <laughs> Yo, the manual feels good, bro. It's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> gang, gang, B58J in the building. I just been Cozy, show me something, man. Sometimes it just don't go with, yeah. so it sucks. And then like all the stuff that you're hearing, like that scraping, yeah, that's like the the for some reason like the panels at the bottom. Uh huh. So I think I went over something and it destroyed it. So like the panels at the bottom are just like this. Sure. Yo, triangle live, bro. This car is very dangerous. Bro. Yeah. I mean, there's days where like you you can go hard on it, but then and then like from first to second, it'll go clean. Mm -hmm. But for some reason. And I don't know if, if it's like the internals of like the the engine or not, or not the engine, sorry, the transmission. But like you'll go to second and it'll, it just won't go, go to second. in. It, it won't, won't go, in. go in. So like you can be hitting it hard, but a lot of times, um, or actually I saw in forums that if you have to like go, you can't like go from a first to second hard. You have to go from like, you gotta second ease to into, third. you have to ease into second then go in from second to third hard. Yeah, I feel like that would make more sense. You got you have to admit, closer to the power bin. Yeah, because I'm like, I don't know why, because sometimes like it'll do that, which is obviously embarrassing in the uh, the video and whatnot, but. I have another engine. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. But for the sake of the video, yeah, I'll turn it back on. See, it is not my best driving currently, but like there's certain things I just don't like. Like for, for example, um, there's certain areas underneath the panels wise where it's literally just flopping down like this. Another thing is, um, with second gear going into second gear it's like sometimes it'll go in when you're hitting it hard but other times it's just like yeah nah bro it's just not gonna happen where the point where it's a lot better to go from second to third um another thing is um there's like inconsistencies with the boost and stuff in all reality i'm pretty sure that's based off of like what's going on with the engine in terms of the um valves and all that extra stuff so yeah yeah, but that was just like a quick thing. So, peace. Be safe.